The psychology of an entrepreneur is very fascinating. While our economy is on a massive roller coaster, it's times like these where you get a glimpse of how the entrepreneur's mind works. An entrepreneur is confident. They are considered insanely creative and are constantly coming up with new ideas. The key to their success is that they are able to take their vision and strategically turn it into a full-blown business. It's the American dream. Own your own business, be your own boss, no one to report to, work from your kitchen office with thoughts of unlimited earning potential. Tom O'Malia, director of the number one entrepreneurial program at USC, gives us some insight to an entrepreneur's mind. I think entrepreneurs are tremendously good at building collaboration among multiple disciplined people because what they've got is exciting and it's their energy that makes them. And the most important part, when you take all of the realities and you add the one soft characteristic, it's perseverance. Never, ever, ever, ever give up. It's the not so good times where we see how the entrepreneur's thought process truly works. They are risk takers. They have the mentality of seeing risk as a challenge, not as something negative. Barbara Hyde Evans of Hyde Evans notes a silver lining around the dreary cloud of slow business. She says, it's time to do things she was too busy for in the past. Organize and advertise aggressively. It's an opportunity in that sense. Extreme inflection points always create opportunity. What positives, if any, are available to me now? Such creative minds. You may have heard the term serial entrepreneur. They are true to their work and have started many businesses. Entrepreneurs are ones to watch for. Accomplishing the American dream, they continue to fuel the economy and change the world with their businesses and ideas. Small businesses have created 70% of new jobs over the past decade. The ability to think differently, possess creative talents, have desire and passion are the roots of an entrepreneur. Now, on the flip side, their minds are constantly flowing with ideas. 20 balls can be in the air at one time. Let's try this one. No, go here. How about over there? Don't this will work? I have no idea. What do you think about this? Do we have enough funding? Do we have, do we have a business plan? How do you identify an entrepreneur? Andy Wilson, founder of Momentum Venture Management, answers the question. Entrepreneurship is, is, is a, <laughs> it's a psychological disorder. <laughs> That's what I'll say. You have to, div, you know, you, you have to be, you know, you have to have unbelievable self-confidence. You have to be a risk taker. You have to be in a position where you can take those risks. And you have to, um, you know, believe in your idea. Um, so, I mean, ask yourself, you know, if you think you're entrepreneurial, are you, you know, are you, how's your risk profile? You know, do you drink your own Kool-Aid? In the words of Obama, small businesses are the heart of the American economy and the heart of the American dream and the core of America's story. This is Kim Life for Insight. See you next week.